Oh, vloggers. Too much karaoke last night. It is now 9.30 in the morning and I just posted my world's shortest vlog of 2 minutes and 44 seconds. What the hell, Tom? Today I'm gonna go with... Um, sure. I don't know where they came from, but oh boy, do I look great. <laughs> nice. It smells like dog in my elevator. <laughs> Thank God it's finally a nice day in California. Snakey Pete. Oh boy, I thought those things died in a fire. I just walked past about 20 restaurants where you can get good quality food, but instead, I see the light. In and out. Ooh, I wonder what the hell they're shooting over here. If anyone recognizes anything or anything, let me know in the comments below. This totally has to be a movie because all this stuff goes all the way around here, all the way around the other side. This is a big ass shoot. Just in case you guys didn't know, I asked Life in Pieces. I'm gonna Google it, but I thought it was for a film set. That's all for a TV show. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be so busy. Mm, 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 mm. This is the perfect way to start a day. And I want to say this right now. I am sorry about yesterday's vlog being so short, but it just happens sometimes. And like the comments in the video of people just like losing their shit. Like, oh my God, this is only two minutes long. Fuck you, you're supposed to be a professional vlogger. Uh, you can only be a professional vlogger if you film with a proper camera. One, I use a potato. And more importantly, if I end up doing not a lot that day I can film, that's just the top and bottom of it. It has nothing to do with whether I'm a professional at it, whether I put in the effort or not. It's just, if I'm busy and I can't vlog what I'm doing, I'm busy and I can't vlog what I'm doing, so I appreciate everyone understood. Thank you for being just a normal, understanding person. And to the rest of you, I have an internet. Go fuck yourself. Hey, listen, right? I know you're all pissed. I know you're all pissed about yesterday's vlog being so damn short. So today, I'm gonna teach you iPhone users a secret that every iPhone user, user, hmm, user I've ever asked if they knew said no. So are you ready for it? And to those of you who know, say nothing. Okay, iPhone users, prepare to get your face blown. All right, so, say you're sending a text message and you're like, oh my God, I love you, favorite person ever. Don't ever forget that the code is uh, 13. All right, so say you sent that, all right, and then you go to copy and paste it, but you accidentally, boom, delete it, all right? Usually you'd be like, oh, Fudge knuckles, I've lost it. Let me show you this magic trick, are you ready? Wha-bam! Undo button, wha-bam! Wait, what's that, other way around. <laughs> Redo typing. Did you ever know that? Because I guarantee you did not know that. If you didn't, leave a like rating. If you did, leave a like rating. But honest to God, it always used to pop up like, you know, randomly saying undo typing. And I was always like, how the hell does this, this pop up? And I finally find out. You shake it back and forth, you shake it, and you can do it and retrieve your lost text. You can thank me all later. If you drive one of those cars, like you just, you may think you're doing stuff for the environment, but that is the most disgusting car I have ever seen. I'm pretty sure it's a BMW i3. Either i3 or i5, nonetheless, no. No, 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 no. This is the weirdest thing ever. strange. I was like, why is there a police car? A forensics van? What the hell happened to this subway? Holy shit. Someone messed that place up. Well, this place is completely different at night. It looks dead cool. You can't really see the sea, which is a shame. Obviously, it's nighttime, but like some reflections would be nice. Who's getting lit? You? Oh no. <laughs> I thought she was raving. I'm just going to try and go to the restaurant at the end of it and see if there's any nice food. I feel like I'm looking at the Call of Duty zombie map for Infinite Warfare. This is quite a small menu, but I'm at the end of the pier. Look how nice it looks down there. And um, I want to know what's on that kid's menu. That's all I'm saying. Well, change of plan. This place closed 15 minutes ago. It's only 7.16 right now. Oh, closed 16 minutes ago. But it's like just closed because it's a Martin Luther King Day. So everywhere's like treating it like a holiday. So they've shut early. Oh. I was looking forward to the kids menu. Totally reminds me of the new map. I'm gonna stream you playing it for the first time, but I honestly think it's probably gonna be potato because just all them colored lights going on at once is you could be like, 
Yeah. Oh, vloggers. They all just don't appreciate the value of the iPhone. I hope for this guy's sake, he didn't somehow take the keys out of the cop car and then stand there because everyone's looking at him like, what the hell is he doing? I think he's drunk or something. Oh, here you go. Here we go. Thinks he's a Mr. Funny guy. Oh, they're just escorting him off the road. Oh, he's done nothing wrong. Uh oh, there's always something going on in Santa Monica. Always something going on. I'd be impressed if they were his keys, they were actually the cop's keys, and he found them like either in the door or on the floor or something. That would have been impressive. I'm sure they're just gonna like let him go or something. Oh, well. Finally found an Italian place to eat. So it seemed only fitting to get an Italian beer. Exactly, exactly what I wanted. <laughs> Out of this entire food, this is amazing, this is amazing, this is amazing, all pretty good. But what I don't understand is this cheese. This is like the earwax of cheeses. Look, it's just so hard and so boring. It tastes like nothing. It smells like nothing. Wait, I just actually used the camera to, what the fuck? I used the camera to sniff the cheese. That makes no sense. That made no sense. But, oh wait, it does have a smell. Oh no, that's, that's the olive that I just picked up off my finger, wait. Smells like nothing. This is the, the, the earwax of cheeses. Um, not too sure about this one. <laughs> Do I dare go down? Uh, not too sure how I did this, but like when I just put on my jacket, I was like, what the hell is stabbing into me? I just pulled this, this, a, a bent fork out of my jacket. Not too sure where I did this, but Let's pretend this never happened, okay? Someone had a really bad day when they drop an entire can of tuna. What the fuck? Eee, that's my dad's car. Sh my dad watches the vlogs, by the way, so shout out to the homie. My plan for the night is to kick back and watch Don't Breathe, because apparently it's really damn good. It only says four out of five, but I've heard some good things about it, so we're gonna see. By the way, never watch this. Worst film ever. Like seriously, I don't know how a horror scary film I was watching it with my mum could go from like a solid I gave it like an 8.5 throughout and then the plot twist happened went to an instant 1 out of 10 So bad! Okay, I finished watching Don't Breathe Good film, really good film Lots of plot twists, like lots and lots of plot twists Did enjoy it, but I don't know man The ending was a bit like, police, you doing your job properly? Don't make so, no sense. I'm not going to spoil the film for you, obviously, but it is a bit of a hmm scenario. But nonetheless, it was a fun, thrilling film. Something different. If you don't know the premise of it, the guy, it, it, like the bad guy, or the good guy, or the bad guy in the movie, is blind, and people break into his house. This is not ruining the story. This is in the trailer. They break into his house, and then shit goes south because he's like a, an army veteran sort of thing. So, yeah, good, good, you know, good concept. Why am I doing this to myself? And why do three of these exist? You heard it here first. Sci-Fi Presents. Regret and bad decisions. I actually ended up not being able to finish Sharknado because the film is just that terrible. I didn't even make it past the first five minutes. One day I will get together with like Tucker and Mini Lad or something and just do like a bad movie watching, like probably a drunk edition and maybe live stream it, but watch Sharknado, the full thing, and then maybe the other two as well. But nonetheless, I couldn't get through it. I'm going to bed. It's like three o'clock in the morning right now. I'm absolutely exhausted. I did watch one of the horror film as well. I think it was called like Hush or something like that, where the woman's like deaf and mute, but it was like an amazing film, like really, really good. I give that like, like a 4.9 out of 5. But anyway, I'm going to go to bed now. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I'm glad it was longer. I am sorry about yesterday's, but you guys really, really have to understand that sometimes, like, I do do stuff that is not going to be in camera, and, like, I just can't film. So, uh, people who understand it and respect that, I appreciate it. For those who don't care, you know, it's just that mentality you need to get used to. And for everyone else who's just perfectly understanding, thank you very much. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for the next day of the vlog. 6 p.m. At least, hey, at least the vlog was on time. That's a that's a bonus. So until then, much love and adios. Assad.